Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host, Brian. We're going to continue on revisiting Bands Week with uh, something from the technical death metal theme that we did a couple weeks back, and the band was called Gorgets. Uh, this one was requested from iCypher and Mika Vanninen. They uh, iCypher said I should check out something from their latest album, Colored Sands. Mika gave me two specific tracks off of that album I should look at, Forgotten Arrows or La Tour du Monde. I have no idea if I'm saying that right or not. I'm pretty sure that's French, and I uh, have zero training in French. So... Let me know how I should better pronounce that, I guess. So yeah, we're doing uh, Gorgets. Uh, checking out, uh, I guess, Obscuro was one of their earlier works. Now we're going to check out something later and kind of see how they've evolved over the over the time frame that they made these two albums in. Alright, so, Gorgets. Let's see what uh, you've been putting out lately. And by lately, I'm like two years ago. So... All right. Dang, jumping right in. Wild changes all over the place here. That is just a dirty sound. Like it is. A little bit of muddiness to it. These slides. All over the place. I don't. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to clean from a single listen. That's a weird bar of a clean guitar. Maybe it's not as clean as I thought. It's just not as distorted as the rest of uh, the work. Interesting harmonies going on there. So much so that the whole band slowed down. So that everybody could be on the same page and just holding out these notes and for the, the vocalist to be holding out the words. Nice little break into this wall of sounds. Pretty sick blast beats. The bass kicks just going crazy. Lots of dissonance in the guitar work.
Viking style music, but the idea of a group of people marching. Or possibly maybe even a large something stomping its way rhythmically across uh, a field or something. Just this big moving terror approaching slowly with these massive steps. interesting all right so yeah I um, I think I've got a lot to say about this uh, so just on a, on a musical level trying to interpret this is it's it's chaotic there's a lot of wild time shifts or at least time feel shifts there doesn't seem to be any central chord progression um, a lot of it just kind of seems chromatic, where they're just picking notes, not at random, but not according to any sort of rule. Um, it's, it's just, it, it's wild. There's random starts, random stops. Uh, the rhythms that a lot of the band is doing is sort of understandable. There's a little bit of uncomprehensibility to it. I don't think that's a word, but I just made it up. Uh, but you can kind of follow along with it because it, it almost it adheres to almost a little bit of sense of speed. As long as you just keep playing something, you're good. But the vocal rhythms randomly stopped in the middle of, of sentences. Uh, words, some words were given more length than others, even though they wouldn't be given that length in, uh, you know, typical prose or speech. It just, it was wild, wild. I guess I was going to say wildly something I was going to describe it, but wild is a perfect adjective for this. Um, it, it's just, it's seemingly random in every aspect. And, I mean, just out of nowhere, we would drop it down to this this slow, bogged down molasses. Be silent for a beat, and start busting out these wild, fast blast beats out of nowhere. It's it's completely. Uh, I don't even know. You can't anticipate it at all. But underneath all of that. There is a central theme that I picked up, and I think it's because of this that it doesn't actually make much sense to actively go about trying to break down the song musically. Um, I, okay, let me, let, me, let me walk that back a little bit. There is things to learn about the track by breaking it down, trying to figure out you know, why rhythms were done a certain way they were, why time signatures were chosen, why they were switched at specific times. Um, there's definitely something to learn, especially for upcoming composers to kind of get into the heads of these guys, uh, especially if this is what you want to do, is highly technical music like this to kind of get into their heads and see why they're doing things, how they fit into the, big, the bigger picture musically on a, on a theoretical level. But I think as a music listener, there's actually not much to be learned from that, at least not as much as to be learned by understanding what emotion is being portrayed by the chaos. And a lot of what I get out of this is futility. Um, the song, I got a lot of imagery of uh, negativity, a lot of hate, um, hate being thrown out, um, you know, arrows raining through the sky. It's not just a single attack of hate. It's, it's hate from all angles, 
raining down, impossible to defend from kind of thing. Um, and I, the, the, what I picked up in the lyrics, even though it's a lyric video, I didn't pay attention to the lyrics all the time. You know, I'm trying to pick up the, the music aspects, which is heavily layered. Um, but the, it's, it's basically saying that there's a lot of hatred going on. That's what I picked up in the lyrics. Um, and I can kind of see at the end I was talking about a sort of marching or maybe a giant thing stomping and it, I could I could perceive that without having a second chance to kind of go through this and really hone in on some of the lyrical themes. But to me, it kind of seems like some sort of hate machine, some sort of darkness machine, some sort of evil uh, personification into a beast or evil as you know groups of people. I don't I don't really know. Maybe it's just uh, you know what's happening right now. It's kind of informing how I'm viewing the music right now, what's happening in the real world kind of informing this, but uh, like this futility in the music that why even try to adhere to the things that make music work on a theoretical level when it doesn't matter, and I kind of get this futility, this kind of giving up in the music, in the lyrics, they, like the force is too strong to push against. So, you know, it's it's why why try why why try to adhere to this? And that's kind of what I get here. And like I said, I really need to go back to the lyrics and see how they fit in. Read all the lyrics completely and see how they fit into the specific aspects, the the musical ideas that they're being sung over, and how that all works together. But even if you take the lyrics out and you just kind of listen to the music, there is this, just this deep futility to it, all this fatigue of, of not wanting to adhere. To, I mean, the, the song starts out right in your face. There's no buildup. They didn't, they didn't even care to say, you know, the song's starting. Or they didn't, they didn't even want to let you give a, a second to check your volume. Uh, it starts at full blast. All the band members just tearing it up. Massive sound of wall. Massive wall of sound. Um, and that kind of attitude just kind of permeates the rest of the song. Uh, you know, we're going to do what we want, and there's not much you can do to stop us, and we don't really care about, you know, adhering to... Uh, the, the rules of music, you know, what what makes music sound good. We're just going to be chaotic, and and because we're tired of not being chaotic. And I don't really remember Gorgut's other track. Um, I remember Technical Death Metal Week as more of a feeling. <laughs> I can't really say I remember any specific song, but it was it's it's more of this overwhelming ness. Um, but I don't remember it being so wild. This was just pure chaos. And I know I, I've used that word before. I'm pretty sure when we talked about other tech, technical death metal, uh, it was chaotic. I'm sure I've said that a few times. But this, it was like a, a honed chaos. I don't know. It is wild stuff. I, um... I'm glad you guys are introducing me to this, uh, just because I can kind of see another side of music that I don't listen to very often, and I can appreciate it for what it is, but, uh, you know, on the same token, this is not something I would go out of my way to listen to. Like, like I just mentioned, overwhelming, that's, that's what I get from this. Uh, there's so much to listen to, and even if you've listened to the song, 10, 15, 100 times, and you know what to expect, and you know why, you know, you understand the lyrics, what they mean, how it fits into the music, the themes of the music itself, the song is still overwhelming, the song punches you in the face over and over and over and over, and no matter how prepared you are for it, you're still getting punched in the face, <laughs> so... Yeah, I don't, I don't really see myself ever getting into this and listening to it uh, on the daily, but I'm really glad 
that I'm continuing to explore this genre uh, and kind of seeing more facets of it because even though it seems very blunt, the genre as a whole is mostly using a sledgehammer to assault someone's eardrums. There's still a lot of nuance to it. And I'm picking that up here. I don't really remember talking about that much when we checked out the other technical death metal stuff. But there's a lot of nuance in musical theme going on in here that I definitely want to check out some more, which is probably the only time you'll ever hear me say that about technical death metal because usually after listening to a song, I'm like, yeah, I'm good now. So, yeah, excellent suggestion. Uh, from the two people who suggested it. This is where you guys come in, though. Drop down some comments, what you thought about Gorguts, um, what you thought about this song, and maybe how you think it compares to Obscuro, which we did last time we checked him out. And uh, if you have any information about how the band has evolved, or if maybe if there's any themes uh, that the band has talked about in interviews regarding the specific song, go ahead and hit me up um, You know, down in the comments. Make sure, while you're down there, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell. If you'd like, you can check out my Patreon or Twitter. Links are in the description. And until next time, you guys stay safe out there. And have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you choose to watch this video.